repetition is the key to success. And I don't care what anybody says, TNA going head to head with Raw, Impact going head to head with Raw on Monday starting March 1st, 2010, to me, is a great idea. Sure, it might be a little soon, but to me, there's no time like the present. And you gotta think about it this way. Hulk Hogan has came into TNA and he has shook the foundation that TNA sits on. He's made some okay moves and he's made some not so okay moves. But for the most part, he has done very well for TNA. He's getting their ratings up and he's making TNA more well known. A lot of people think that TNA going on Monday nights is a little soon, but I disagree. Competition is so needed in the world of professional wrestling. I just got done watching uh, the McMahon DVD that I purchased and a lot of the old school wrestlers on that DVD even mentioned how when Vince McMahon purchased the WCW how the product got a little stagnant you know and, I, and you have to agree with them um, the WCW versus WWF days were so awesome because they were feeding off of each other each week they would watch the other show, they would watch the competition, and they would get ideas from one another. And they would take that idea and, and go with it, improve on it, make it their own. And it was just that way every week. You know, wrestling was so awesome back in those days because they had the competition. Um, and wrestling definitely needs competition. I have said that numerous times before. I, I think it's great. Um, might be a little too soon, but hey, you know what? Do what you got to do. If, if Hogan wants to do it, I think, you know, he, he's going to do it all right. Uh, Hulk Hogan wouldn't put his name on something if he didn't believe in it. You know, he's got a big reputation at stake. Every company he's been with has been number one. Uh, the WWF, WCW, now he's with TNA. So... I'm not going to say that they're going to be number one overnight once they start going on Monday nights every week. But us as wrestling fans should cherish uh, these next couple months coming up. Um, we're going to see, a, hopefully, you know, hopefully we're going to see a lot of great things from both products. Hopefully the WWF will try to do better on what they put out on TV and hopefully TNA you know hopefully they already have a bunch of tricks up their sleeves somewhere but you know I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it uh, the January 4th edition of Impact was great Raw was good as well and you know I'm looking forward to it again I didn't think it would be this soon but I'm glad it's here competition is back and we don't know if it's going to be good or not, so we can't start judging it. We can't start saying, oh, TNA is going on a downward spiral straight to hell because they're going too fast. Well, and we won't know until it happens. So until then, I think we should just be positive about the whole situation and enjoy what's about ready to hit us. You know, us as wrestling fans, sometimes we're a little too picky on things, and I think we all need to just lighten up and enjoy what we have and you know we shouldn't bitch about it until it's gone you know what i'm saying but uh regardless it's coming we can't do anything about it let's just hope that both wwe and tna come out fighting come out swinging swinging for the fences so to speak let's just hope that they both are ready for this and that they are willing to pull no punches whatsoever. Let's just hope we get to see a true Monday Night War again. That's it for me. Peace out.